Hi, I'm Jennifer Massey with the Chunky Bee Boutique and we're working on today making some necklaces that use different elements. Uh, we've broken the video into two parts um, to make it a little easier for you, but in case you missed the first one, we just made this necklace that uses a section of beaded um, crystal and ceramic beads just strung on wire like you normally would and then finished off with chain. And now we are going to make this one, which has a beaded section. It's got charms and crystals. And then it's finished off with this neat um, brown suede. And we're going to use ribbon clamps for that, so that's a new element that you can add to your skill set. All right, so we're going to take this necklace kit. It's called Navajo Gold. We sell it on the Chimkey Bee Boutique. And it has the five gold feather charms. But since it's a kit and it's not put together, I can do whatever I want with it. So I think I'm only going to use three of the gold feathers on the necklace and save my other two to make a pair of earrings. All right. I don't know. Can you see all this? This is what comes in our kit. All of our pieces here. The only thing that doesn't come in your kit is your wire and crimp beads. Now, the first step is let's get our charms ready to string. I went ahead and did two of them to save us some time. And if you've never done this, we also have a video about using jump rings. You grab your jump ring with one set of pliers, put your charm right on it, and with your other set of pliers, you just bend the loop right back together till it till you feel the metal scrape so it's nice and tight and won't slip off of your wire. Let's get that tighter. There we go. Just like that. So once again, you don't want to use the motion. I'm going to show you a little trick here. You want to always use the motion of pulling one side up while you push one side down. That way the circle, the shape of the circle doesn't change. If you try to pull it out, it's almost impossible to get it back in the shape of a circle again. All right, let's do our beading. Start with a daisy. Now y'all don't let me forget any daisies this time. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to add these charms. We have a daisy on each side of the charm. So it gives it a little more space before the crystal and lets it dangle freely. So it doesn't hang weird. I love doing these necklaces because they are so fun and fast to put together. They're really lightweight to wear too and they they lay so nicely since all of the beads are in the front and you've got this nice flat um, suede or chain around your neck. So it's just uh, very classy. All right. Now it looks like we have two daisies left over since we didn't do those extra charms so I'm going to put two daisies at the end of my necklace right there and the next thing I need are some gold crimp tubes I am using the beadsmith gold crimps um, which we have on the page as well two millimeter size and I'm gonna take my wire here that was already cut and just cut it at an angle. This usually makes it easier oops, come on, to slide through back through your crimp tube. Okay, so we've got our crimp tube and now instead of a toggle like you would normally finish off a necklace with a toggle, you're using this ribbon clamp. So you're going to put one side of the wire through the ribbon clamp, come back around it through the crimp tube to make a loop. So your ribbon clamp is just hanging there freely. We don't want our wires to cross. We want them to be just flush next to each other. And we grab our flat nose pliers, crimp that down, and then put our excess wire back through the beads. And there we go. Now let's do the other side. I'm going to give myself plenty of room to work with. And here goes my crimp tube. Really? There we go. Let's see. It looks like... Okay, crimp tube. 
um, ribbon clamp and come back through your crimp tube. This is always a lot easier to do when you're not making a video. <laughs> it's like having someone watch over your shoulder. All right, pull it tight, a little bit more, yeah. Okay, and let's crimp that. I just want to point out something. These AB crystals, they're so pretty to work with, but when you get your fingers all over them, you will see spots. So don't worry about it while you're beading. At the end, you can come back and take the tail of your shirt and just rub those right off. Okay. Um, let's cut off our excess wire. And now let's add our suede cord. This is so easy. You guys are going to wonder why you haven't been doing this for 100 years. Um, you are going to just take the open little part, put your cord in there, get your flat nose pliers, and clamp down one side. Can you see that? And then bring the other side over. <laughs> bring the other side over. There we go. And clamp that down. All right. So we've done that end, and now we're going to do the other end on the same piece. Now you can hold it up if you want and see how long it is, because once that ribbon clamp is on there, you're not getting it off. So if you want to hold it up and see how long you want it before you uh, put the other one on so you can cut it to the length that you like. I believe all of these have been cut so that the necklace is 20 inches. And now we're going to do the other end. I just like to make sure that the same side faces the same way. In other words, my pretty side of the ribbon clamp are both on the same ends. Does that make any sense? I feel like I could have said that better. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn that over, clamp it again. All right, that's one end. Now, for the sake of time in this video, you guys are gonna do the very same thing on the other side, and then you're just going to add your clasp. So I'm using this gold lobster clasp. It's got a jump ring on it, so we know what to do. Take our jump ring, open it one side toward you, one away, slip it through this little thingy right here, and there it is. And then let's, on the finished necklace, you can see how they're both done. And we have one attached here and, and the um, extender attached on the other side. And that is all there is to it. So, now that you know how to add ribbon clamps and suede and chain, you can make all sorts of fun things. Come visit us at the Chunky Bee Boutique for more great ideas and kits.